Today marked the 10th day of protests in the city of Syracuse. This time, they took to the streets around the Syracuse University Hill area. News Channel 9's Josh Martin was with them and continues our coverage. Day 10 of protests saw marchers make their way around SU Hill. Organizers making it a point to go near the athletic facilities and campus where protests against racism were conducted last year. We wanted to let the students of SU um, know that we stand with them. Even though we're fighting against police brutality, that is an issue that definitely should not and does not need to go on in our city. And we're hoping to link up with them. Around 100 people marched in the protest on Monday. It was day 10 of at least 40 that the protesters plan on marching. They've covered all parts of the city. And on Tuesday, they'll be coming here to James Street. Organizers gave us some insight as to what areas of the city they picked to march in. It is strategically thought out and it's actually planned because these are the people that we want to have involved, right? And they're not involving themselves. You know, it's all, we're here for the equality, the peace, the love, the, you know what I mean, so we can all meet in the middle. But if you guys are just looking at us from the outside and you're not participating, that means that you're adding on to the problem instead of being the solution. For more than a week, protests have been peaceful in the city of Syracuse, including Saturday, where more than 1,000 people gathered and marched. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.